Hey everyone, Christina here with One Creative Direction. How are we doing tonight? Uh, welcome in everyone. Welcome to all of my subscribers. Uh, thank you so much. So tonight we're going to talk about uh, coasters. Different coaster options. Um, so I have quite a few here. And we're going to talk about each one of those. Okay, so let's start with the basics. All right, I would say a lot of folks use these little four by four ceramic tiles. These are super easy, obviously. No prep work is needed. You can pour straight on the surface. These are polished, um, whatever you wanna call them, polished is what I call them, glazed. Um, no prep is needed, just keep in mind it's not like wood, so it's not porous, and it will peel off easy if you want it to. Um, the advantage to using something like this is you can throw them in some water if they don't turn out the way you want. I use these for my color trials, all kinds of stuff, because they're easy to throw in water and peel them off. So that's your basics. So an option that I always offer uh, once a year, Dollar Tree sells these little boxes, and I'm trying to remember what time of year it is. I was thinking it was around Mother's Day. Yeah, I think it's around Mother's Day. So I buy as many of these as I possibly can uh, because I don't have the ability to make boxes for these or any kind of holder. It doesn't really prevent me from selling any, but I do like to offer that option. So once a year they come out with these, um, and I'll buy as many as I can get. I think this last year I got like 25 or so. Um, and I will offer these plain, just like this. Um, this is how they come with a little thing on both sides. Or I will offer them painted. Uh, I don't have any examples in here, but I will take uh, two different ways. I'll paint these. I'll take them outside and spray paint them. Or I will paint acrylic on them. And I'll tell you the best thing that works uh, for these is these fluid acrylics. I, if, is, if they're opaque, they cover beautifully. Um, just keep that in mind when you're trying to paint those if you decide to do that. So that's kind of the basics where everybody pretty much starts is with these tile coasters. So from there, um, I started expanding and I found uh, hex coasters. So I, I apologize, these are the only ones that I have because I cannot find them anymore. Um, and I just painted these tonight. Those are the last five that I have. Actually, I take that, yeah. Those are the last five that I have. Uh, and I can't find any store that sells them anymore. Um, so I'm still in pursuit of that. Uh, hopefully I am successful because a lot of people do like those hex, those four inch hex. Um, disadvantage of those is you have to pretty much cut your own cork for the back, which isn't a problem. I made myself a little template. Okay. The next option is this set that I buy. It comes with its own holder. It comes with six in a box. And these are wood, obviously. Um, and as you can see, they fit in there super tight, right? So the advantage and the disadvantage of these is the advantage, they're somewhat inexpensive. Um, if you get them on sale, less than three bucks. Uh, if you don't get them on sale, they're like six something. Um, the downside to these is, as you can see, it's pretty rough. So you're gonna have a lot of sanding. You're gonna have a lot of prep work uh, to get these to where they need, are ready to paint. Uh, for me, I sand them and then I take my universal white and I coat one side, not the other, just the one side. And then you have to sand again after that. Um, and the smoother you get these, the better. If you leave them rough, you're gonna regret it later. You can see how rough that is. Um, if you don't get that smooth, when you go to put your top coat on, it's gonna bubble up and look really nasty. Uh, I learned that the hard way. So that's a third option. Now, what I do in addition to those standard everyday options that I've done since the beginning is 
I am constantly looking at thrift stores and flea markets and all kinds of places for coaster sets. So this is an example of one I would find at a thrift store. Um, I think there is actually one missing and I'm not worried about it. Uh, you can see the huge gap in there. I'm not worried about it because once I add my uh, cork to the back of these, um, it'll be just fine. They'll be a little bit loose, but it'll be fine. So this is probably the fifth or sixth set of glass ones that I've gotten at a thrift store. And typically what I'll do is I'll, since this is already coated, what I'll do, it depends on what kind of shape it's in, and this is in really bad shape. So I'm going to wash this really, really good because it's super dusty and dirty, as you can see. And then I'll give it a light sand, and I will either spray paint it or I will paint over it, depending on what color I paint these, because I always coordinate the color for my box with the coasters. So I, I've, you see a lot of these, and I don't know if these were like super popular at some time, but you can put like a picture on them. So um, I see them a lot. This is probably the thickest ones I've ever found. Uh, some of the other ones I've gotten were different sizes of squares. These are somewhat rectangular. They sell really well, I will tell you that. Um, and basically, you know, they'll come with these little picture holders if they're super old, which I think these are, they pop right off. And they come with these adhesive strips. The, the knife just kind of pops right, pops them right off. And they always come with these bumpers on them. And again, a good utility knife. And I use these Cricut knives because they're super sharp. Just take all this off and then I will alcohol, clean, wash, whatever I need. These are pretty dirty. I'll probably take these to the sink and wash them really, really good. And then you paint on these just like you would the, the ceramic tile. And uh, people love them. I don't, I'm not really sure why. Okay, now some other options. Um, after Christmas last year, I was in, I believe it was Hobby Lobby. And they had a ton of these sets of coasters that were, I think, in fours. Um, and they had all kinds of Christmas uh, stuff on them. And so I purchased them, uh, a ton of them. I probably bought 10 or so sets, maybe 15 or so sets, because they were like 80 or 90% off. So they ended up being like, I don't know, maybe a dollar or something for a set of four, which isn't bad. They're kind of like an MDF. Um, but this wording was engraved so it was um, not even and initially I painted some of them and uh, actually I didn't paint them first. First I took some wood uh, filler and I tried to fill in all those uh, indents and I'd sanded it and I thought that would be good enough um, and then I tried to paint some and of course the lettering was uh, popping up uh, so I couldn't sell them like that. I just, I thought they looked horrible. Uh, a friend of mine's like, well, I don't see it. I'm like, well, I do, and I can't sell them. So basically what I did with the rest of them was I took Bright Tone and I coated every one of them. And after that, I did a test and I painted on one and had no issues. So I went ahead before I went to Florida and I put bright tone on the rest of these and I've painted almost all of them and they turned out really good. So no issues there. So super cheap option, uh, like a dollar a set. Uh, I think it was a little over a dollar. Um, and then I go to a uh, couple of local flea markets quite a bit and I happened upon one of the sellers there. Um, now I'm missing two of them. They're soaking in water right now. Um, I got multiple um, sets of coasters and they're like a ceramic stone um, you can tell by the sound of them they're like a finished polished stone um, and they had various sayings on them um, I bought multiple sets I probably bought I don't know eight or ten sets uh, and they were three bucks a set which I didn't think was bad but they were sets of six and sets of sets of eight so each one of them was a little bit different 
Um, but I ran into the same issue, as you can see all of those um, sayings and words on there, did the same thing that these do. Uh, so I did, I just applied the same solution. I just coated each one of these with uh, bright tone. Um, if you had extreme protection, that would work as well. It's a little cheaper than bright tone. Um, if you wanted to take them out and I don't know that like a spray uh, clear coat would have worked. I just know the bright tone worked. Uh, so again, I coated all those and I have painted over them and there's also no issues with those now. Um, so those are some options. Uh, there may be additional options. Um, I have purchased some sets of wood square coasters um, that are similar to this, but they're wood. Um, again, you're going to run into the same issue with these. I really try to <clears throat> go as low maintenance as possible because you don't want to spend a ton of time prepping uh, because then you've got too much time and money into it and you're not making as much of a profit. So I, even though these are a lot of work, they are one of my best sellers. So I put the work in, I charge more for these than I do for the ceramic um, and people don't mind paying for it. They like the box. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys some options on making coasters. They are a really good sell in case you're thinking about um, selling at festivals or art shows. Just wanted to show you the various options. Uh, I like to provide a little bit of a variety. Uh, sometimes I'll go to a show or go somewhere and I'll see someone and all they're selling are these, which there's no issue with that. Um, I just like to add a little, I just like to offer a little bit of a variety. Um, and then I pay attention to what people gravitate towards and just kind of roll with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the information. Please let me know down below in the comments uh, if you have any questions or, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like this content and um, I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.